order for you to draw graphs with known constants, okay, for example, in this question, we know that the constants are, okay, for this case, A and B. Now, um, many a time when we are supposed to draw, uh, these constants are known, but sometimes, alright, there's a possibility that in the question that these constants are unknown, like uh, given in question 5. So, how do we actually draw these graphs? Okay, now it is now you are given in this question uh, y is equal to x square minus a divided by x minus b. Uh, as you can see from the numerator, all right, this is a quadratic. The denominator is linear. So from what we have learned, okay, uh, we're gonna get a graph with oblique asymptotes. Uh, oblique asymptotes, um, and the other one is a vertical. But how do we actually? know what these asymptotes are so the first thing that you need to do is find what are the asymptotes now before we actually proceed we also need to take note of what are the given conditions so in this particular question the given condition are a and b is uh, are greater than zero then the other one uh, in the later part of the question is noted that your uh, b squared is actually greater than a okay now at this juncture, I just want to take note of uh, the fact that uh, if your b squared is greater than a, this actually implies your b is greater than a over b. Uh, this is so because when you multiply your b across over the other side, the inequality doesn't change because we know that b is positive. So this part here is still correct and we actually need this in the later part of the question. Alright. now. Uh, what is the actual process of getting the asymptote? Okay, for this case, right, uh, as we have seen in, in earlier examples, we actually need to, I, to either use juggling method or long division. Uh, for this particular case, because uh, there are knowns, it's quite difficult for you to do juggling method. So the best method is to actually do the long division. So let's do the long, do the long division. So you have uh, the dividend, which is uh, x squared. Uh, minus a then we need to divide it by the divisor for this case is x minus b okay so x times x you have x square x times minus b you get negative b x so you minus off the first column the second column you will have b x bring down the minus a then you continue um, so this is plus b times x you have bx plus b times minus b you have minus b squared so the remainder is actually b squared minus b ok so this is the final result of your long division so what is the final uh, form of your expression after you have actually uh, done with the long division so this rational function will therefore become y is equals to x plus b plus b squared minus a the remainder divide by the divisor for this case is x minus b now as you have already known your asymptotes for the vertical one is obtained from this side so this is the vertical asymptote okay and what is the equation your the equation is actually x is equal to b now the other one is your oblique asymptote obtained from here so oblique asymptote all right so what is the equation of this oblique asymptote all right the oblique asymptote will have y equals to x plus b as the equation so now let's maybe start to draw the earlier stages of the graph okay now uh, we know the asymptotes are at x equals to b so the let's draw the vertical asymptote which is much easier okay so you make sure you label because if not you'll be penalized all right so this is a vertical asymptote uh, the other asymptote is uh, given as y equals to x plus b uh, x plus b so when my x is zero my y equals to b so that means it must pass through this particular point on the y-axis alright and when my x is a negative b my y is 0 so it must pass through this particular point negative b okay so let me just draw it
Okay, so make sure you label. Alright. Now, uh, before we start to draw any of the parts of the graph, alright, let's recap. Okay, now for uh, for expressions of uh, this form, okay, of this form, alright, we should already know what kind of graphs that we're going to get. We're going to get a graph uh, which is of the form that has an oblique asymptote. So the graph would either have this type. Right, so something you have a vertical asymptote like this, and then you have a, a oblique asymptote. So the moment you have something like this, the graph would actually be going like that, or maybe like this, or over the other side. Or you could so your graph should be something like this, alright, and something like this perhaps. Okay, so these are the only two types of uh, such graphs that you could actually obtain depending on where the asymptotes pass through. Okay, uh, just to take note, uh, for this kind of graph, we actually have uh, two stationary points. Okay, uh, one of the points is uh, this one, and the other one is this one. So this one we have a local minimum, and the other one is of course a local maximum. Uh, just to recap, in order for you to actually get the two points, the local minimum and the local maximum, you actually need to do dy dx equals to zero. That means you need to actually apply uh, calculus differentiation. Give it a turn, please check with your tutors. Now let's get back to the drawing of the graph. Okay, so this is the uh, symptoms that we already established. Okay, we already discovered that the for this kind of graph how the shape of the graph looks like. Okay, so I got a feeling that the graph must be of this type. In fact, for this part, I actually can quite confirm that this is the place. Uh, this is how the graph should look like. The only problem is for the other side. It's going to be like this, or is it going to be like this? Right. So we we are not really sure. So what do we do now? In order for you to actually establish the bottom half of the graph, what is important is to actually find the intercept with the x-axis and the y-axis. I'll show you how. Now, uh, we know that our equation is actually, let me just recap, y is equals to x square minus e over x minus e. So, when my x is equals to 0, I will find that my y is equals to a over b. Alright, so when my x is equals to 0, my y is equals to a over b. So, I actually know, uh, I confidently establish that the a over b is here below b now why is that so because remember that we are given that b squared is greater than a this implies that your b is greater than a over b so from here it is obvious that my b is actually greater than a over b so therefore that is why i am very confident that this particular point is here right Okay, so now let's see what happens when y is equal to 0. So when my y is equal to 0, I will actually have x squared minus a equals to 0. And I will have two points, x equals to plus minus root a. Alright, okay, plus minus root a. Alright, now uh, for this case, uh, it is obvious that root a must be between negative b and b. Because we know the general shape of this graph, it cannot go beyond that. So I will confidently put my root a, negative root a here, and my root a down here. So once I've established all these points on the two asymptotes, I can draw the graph. Okay. So it's actually quite easy after you have established the intercepts with the, the with the two axes, you can establish the bottom half of the graph. All right. Now, uh, as I've mentioned earlier on, in order for you to actually get these two uh, points, okay, what you need to do is apply dy dx equals to zero. Then you you would already uh, obtain the turning points. 